Here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of for your series. Welcome to video number 30 and in this video we are going to solve second problem. Okay, second problem from the topic that is passables identity. Okay, so before I start this video I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, for your series with your friends. Okay, so in this family you can support me. So let us start. The problem says prove that in 0 less than x less than l okay the range of x is from 0 to l okay x equals to we need to prove this that is x equals to l upon 2 minus 4 l upon pi square 1 upon 1 square into cos pi x upon l plus 1 upon 3 square into cos 3 pi x upon l plus 1 upon 5 square cos 5 pi x upon l plus dot 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 okay after finding this after proving this part we need to deduce something else okay yes that is 1 upon 1 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 3 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 5 to the power 4 plus dot 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 equals to pi to the power 4 upon 96 okay yes so we'll start solving okay so the function is x okay the function is x and the limit is from 0 to l okay so here you can see it is half range okay the range is from 0 to l that is half range and here we have cos terms okay we have cos terms and one single form also that is this part could be of a naught and this part could be of a n okay so this is this question is belong uh, this question belongs to uh, for a half range cosine series okay yes so here we can say that is f of x equals to l and b minus a this is b this is a so b minus a is going to give me l okay so the Fourier half range cosine series for the any function f of x is given by a naught upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x upon b minus a okay this is the general formula for half range cosine series okay yes so if you put b minus a equals to how much l and f of x equals to x so this is going to be x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x upon l and this is said to be equation number 1 okay yes here we need to find the values of a naught and a n okay so first of all we will try to find the value of a naught okay so a naught equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x dx this is the general formula okay yes so b minus equals to l so 2 upon l integration a is 0 b is l so integration limit is from 0 to l f of x is x simply write dx okay yes so 2 upon l is as it is integration of x will become x square upon 2 2 2 gets cancelled if you put upper limit here this is going to be l square lower limit will become 0 okay so here we have l square upon l that is l okay so on solving this part you will get a naught equals to how much l okay i hope this part is very much clear to you okay and this part is very easy also okay so let us start finding the value of a naught sorry a n okay we have already found the value of a naught now we'll find what is a n okay so yes a n equals to b upon a upon b minus a integration yes a naught a n equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x cos n pi x upon b minus a dx this is the general formula again we have b minus a equals to l and a equals to 0 b equals to l f of x equals to x okay yes so this is going to 2 upon l integration 0 to l function f of x is x this is cos of n pi x upon what is b minus a that is l okay so cos of n pi x upon l dx now this part is as it is that is 2 upon l now we will uh, integrate this part by the help of chain rule okay this is my first function this is my second function as per eyelet rule okay eyelet rule this is my first function this is my second function so this part is as it is integration of this part will become sine of n pi x upon l upon coefficient of x that is n pi upon l in the denominator part now first term is positive second term is negative okay yes now differentiation of uh, first uh, function that is x will become 1 okay differentiation of x will become 1 and integration of second part okay second function okay so integration of sine will become minus cos that is minus cos of n pi x upon l upon n pi x okay upon n pi l upon into n pi l okay upon n pi l into n pi l that is n square pi square upon l square again the limit is from 0 to l okay the limit is from 0 to l now 2 upon l is as it is if you put yes this is going to be l can be written as here okay this l will come here that is x into l upon n pi into sine n pi x upon l 
okay negative negative will become positive take this l square here that is l square upon n square pi square this is going to be cos of n pi x upon l okay again the limit is from 0 to l now simply put the limits 2 upon l is as it is if you put the upper limit that is l here okay so this is going to be l l get cancelled so we left with sine of n pi okay sine of n pi is how much 0 if you put the lower limit again we have sine 0 sine 0 is how much 0 so on putting upper limit and lower limit in both the cases this term will become 0 okay so we have 0 minus 0 for the first term now we'll come to the second part okay that is l square upon n square pi square into cos of n pi x upon l if you put the upper limit yes this part is taken common here because this part is independent of x okay so we'll put upper limit and lower limit okay yes so if you put upper limit this is going to be cos of n pi if you put the lower limit this is going to be minus of cos 0 okay upper limit minus lower limit now simply solving this part you will get 2 upon l is as it is here we have l square upon n square pi square into cos pi is how much minus 1 power n and what is cos here that is 1 so minus 1 power n minus of 1 okay so here you can see l l get cancelled okay so what is left here is that is 2 l upon n square pi square okay and here we have minus 1 power n minus 1 okay yes so we have a n equals to 2 l upon n square pi square into minus 1 power n and minus 1 okay yes here we need to check uh, for n equals to even and n equals to what because of two things okay first thing is we have two terms okay for the case of a n we have two terms and the second thing is yes in the question it is says like prove this okay yes in the question we need to prove this part okay since we need to prove this part and an contains two terms okay so we will find for n equals to even and n equals to odd okay yes when n equals to even okay when n is an even number in that case yes this is going to be plus one okay because minus one power even will become plus one plus one minus one will become zero so an will become zero okay so you can see an becomes zero when n is any even number okay now if you put n equals to odd number in that case this will be always minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 become minus 2 minus 2 into 2 will become minus 4 so this is going to minus 4 l upon n square pi square okay so a n becomes 0 when n is an even number a n equals to minus 4 l upon n square pi square when n is an odd number okay so from equation number 1 what is equation number 1 let us see yes this is my equation number 1 that is a naught upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n into cos n pi x upon l this was my equation number 1 and we have what a naught equals to okay we have a naught equals to 1 and a n equals to this when n is an odd number okay yes so x equals to okay so x equals to a naught upon 2 what is a naught that is l so l upon 2 minus okay because of this minus okay that is yes here you can write that is summation n equals to 1 to infinity this part here into cos of n pi x upon l okay yes now here now here l upon 2 is as it is we can take this part that is minus 4 l upon pi square here so minus 4 l upon pi square summation of n equals to 1 to infinity 1 upon n square left here and here we have this part that is cos of n pi x upon l okay yes so finally you can see on putting n equals to 1 3 5 7 because you cannot put n equals to even number okay because at even number a n is 0 okay so x equals to l upon 2 minus 4 l upon pi square this part is as it is now simply put n equals to 1 3 5 okay and so on so on putting n equals to 1 you will get 1 upon 1 square into cos of pi x upon l okay if you put n equals to 3 that that is plus 1 upon 3 square into cos of 3 pi x upon l if you put n equals to 5 then it is 1 upon 5 square plus cos of n pi x upon l plus dot 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 okay this is what we wanted to prove okay so first part is over now we'll come to the second part okay now since here we have 1 upon 1 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 3 to the power 4 that is something to the power 4 okay yes here in the proof we have 4 in the powers of each and every term so we are going to use parcel's identity okay yes now applying parcel identity in the interval that is 0 to l for half range cosine series the formula is integration 0 to l f of x whole square dx which is equals to b minus a upon 2 what is b minus a that is l so l upon 2 
into a naught square upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n square okay we have the value of a naught and a n okay now simply put f of x that is x okay x square that is x square so we have integration 0 to l x square dx okay what is f of x that is x x square that is x square okay now solving this part this will become x cube upon 3 integration of x square with respect to x is x cube upon 3 limit is from 0 to l if you put the upper limit here this is going to be l cube upon 3 okay in the right hand part we have l, uh, l upon 2 yes a naught is L. Okay, what is the value of A naught? That is L. So here it is L square upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity. What is A n? Okay, A n is minus 4 L upon n square pi square. Yes, here we have A n square that is this part whole power 2. Okay, now simply solve this part. Yes. So this cancel we have L square. Okay, so if you take this 2 here, so this is going to 2 into L square upon 3. And here we have L square upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity yes this minus 4 square will become 16 l square l square we have this n square square that is n to power 4 pi square square that is pi to power 4 okay here you can see l square l square l square okay l square is common in all three terms so all the l square is cancelled out okay yes so here okay if you don't cancel then also it will be cancelled in the further step okay so this is 2 l square upon 3 if you take this part to the left hand side that is minus l square upon 3 uh, 2 equals to summation of n equals to 1 to infinity yes this is 16 l square upon n to power 4 pi to power 4 okay yes if you are able to cancel this l square that is good if you are not able to cancel this l square you can cancel that in the further step also okay yes now on solving this part you can take lcm that is 6 okay 2 into 2 that is 4 l square 3 into 1 that is minus 3 l square okay and this is as it is that is 16 l square upon pi square pi to power 4 here summation of n equals to 1 to infinity 1 upon n to power 4 okay yes here you can see on solving this part we will get l square and here we have l square so l square l square will get cancelled so here we are left with 1 upon 6 here and here we are left with 16 upon pi to power 4 into this part okay 16 upon pi to power 4 into summation of yes okay summation of 1 upon n to power 4 okay now simply take this here and write this pi to power 4 this side this is going to be pi to power 4 upon 96 okay this 16 into 6 will become 96 1 into pi to power 4 will become pi to power 4 okay and this part is as it is that is summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 upon n to power 4 now simply put n equals to 1 2 3 point so on you will get this proof okay now here what is n Yes, remember this thing that is n is an odd number. Okay, n cannot be even number because at n equals to even, okay, the value of n is 0. So, we need to put n equals to odd numbers only. Okay, that is n equals to 1, 3, 5 and so on. So, 1 upon 1 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 3 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 5 to the power 4 plus dot 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 equals to pi to the power 4 upon 96 and this is what asked in the problem okay thank you thank you so much